So we want to learn how to take information from a form and actually have it submit to somewhere when we hit the submit button. And so there's a couple things we need to do. And the first is to add um, a method to the form. And the method we're going to use basically all the time is post. That's going to let us send a bunch of information um, to wherever we're going to send our form to. And we get to specify where that is. Um, and it'll not show it in the address bar or anything, so it's a little bit um, better than some other methods you can use. And then under action, we need to tell it where to send the info to. So a lot of times that will be another PHP page that we have set up to code um, to do something with the information that gets submitted. Um, sometimes that'll involve displaying things to the user and sometimes it will not. Um, but we can have some code that's elsewhere, not on this page that can handle this thing. So I have a file set up already called process.php. So I'm going to make my action um, be to go to that. And if you look at it right now, there's nothing in here right now. It's just an empty web page with some PHP set up. Okay. Um, so the first thing to see is that when we make this method post, um, then when the information gets sent to this page, it's in this special kind of array. We call it a super global. And it always has this name and it's weird, but it's underscore in all caps POST. And so that is a super global array that will contain all the information that came from the form. And it's an associative array. Um, let's print it and see what, you, what we can see based on the page that sent it. So I have got this printing out in that debugging sort of way and back over here um, on my form just to give you an idea of what it looks like. It's a form with one text field and a submit button. So let's go ahead and put some stuff in here. We'll type the word contents, hit submit. That's going to send the information bundled in that nice array over to my process.php page. Oh, I forgot to refresh. After I update it, hold on, let me reload this. Form processing, there we go. Contents, submit. So here is a picture of the array. And so yet yeah, index stuff is the value contents. So let's look back at the form and see where it got this word stuff. Well, if I look at my input here, it has the name stuff. So it seems like, based on what we're looking at here, um, whatever the name of the element on the form is becomes the uh, key or index value. And the stuff that the person types in becomes the value in that pair in the array. Let's just verify that that's true by adding a second piece of input, more stuff. Let's input type text, name equals more. A little break here so it's a little cleaner. Oops. Let me go back to my page over here and refresh it. Uh, this guy. Okay. Hello there. Okay, we'll submit. Ah, here's my post array. And so there's my index stuff with the word hello and my index more with the word there. Okay. Now, typically, you're not going to want to print R this. You're going to want to do something with it. So I can grab out um, the contents of this thing and save it in variables. So into my stuff, I can grab out whatever was in post with the index stuff and into a variable more. I can grab whatever was in the post array with the index more. And then I can do whatever I want with that. So I can echo something. You entered the text stuff in the stuff box and more in the more box. And it should show me that when I submit this form. So let's go back here. Oh, let me open this in a separate room. No, it's okay. All right, form processing. Hello there. Submit. You went through the text hello in the stuff box and there in the more box. So I can do whatever I want with it. Um, what I do have to be careful of is I don't want to submit or I don't want to process things if somebody accidentally navigated to this page. So maybe like Google's web crawler picked up my page and created a direct link to it. Um, or something. So I really don't want to process this stuff unless somebody has hit the submit button that leads here. And so there's a way to check that with an if statement. So it looks like this. And it's this thing, server. And then in square brackets, request method. 
Oops. If that is equal to post, and that'll mean that somebody hit the submit button on this form that has the action the method post on it, um, then I'll do all this stuff, and I won't do it if somebody gets to the page accidentally otherwise. So let's just say else uh, echo, you are lost. All right, so let's see how that looks. So I'm going to go back here, and here's my form processing. So hi there. This should still work the same. So there's hi and there. If I accidentally go into processing.php without going through the form, I get the message you are lost. So it won't try to handle the form input if nobody filled out a form to get to the page in the first place. So that's a good idea. Um, another thing I might want to be careful about is they can hit the submit button without actually sending anything into this, um, this the text boxes. And so I might want to make sure that the fields are not blank. And so I can do that like this. I can say if not empty stuff, and I could do this directly to the array um, if I wanted to, or I can do it to the, uh, the fields once I save them out. So if both of them are not empty, then I will print out this stuff. My indentation is getting wonky here. And if they are, you must complete all form fields. So if they leave either of them empty, I should get that message. Let me straighten this up a little bit because I don't like it this messy. Oops. Tab this whole thing over. All right. Let's see what that looks like. So let's go back here. Go back to the original guy, form processing. So let's put hi there and verify that that still works. Okay. Let's go back. Let's try it with just nothing in the boxes. We must complete all form fields. And let's just verify one more thing. Let's just fill out the first one. Oops. Hi. And then it'll still give me that error message. So that's a little bit of protection against weird stuff happening. The other thing it lets me do is I can actually put this stuff back on the same page with the, uh, with the form if I want to. So I can go back over here. And I can have a section underneath my form, uh, maybe a div or something, where I've got this PHP um, that will display when they actually hit post, but it won't otherwise. The only thing I have to change here is got to take this action out um, entirely. So let's have this PHP over here. I've got to do uh, two things. One is to change this action to be nothing, which means use yourself. The other is that this thing is not currently a PHP file, it's an HTML file. So I need to change the file extension so that the browser knows to try to interpret my PHP commands, um, which it won't do for a plain HTML file. So let me go back over here, go into forms. Oops, let me refresh this because my index is not refreshed. Here's formprocessing.php now. Um, so I've gotten to this page without submitting. So my UR loss command comes up. I would probably want to remove that because I wouldn't want that message. Um, here, if I submit it with nothing, I get you must complete all form fields. Oh, extra test. Okay, so now it's appealing, appearing right here. Again, I'd probably want to not do this echo UR loss thing. I simply wouldn't want to display the things until they had submitted the form. I wouldn't want to give them an error message um, before they ever got a chance to fill it out. So now it's not showing me that error message. It won't do anything until I submit the form. Um, and then it will do that. 